looking more closely at these attributes that I've been talking about here, they might seem kind of similar to just variables. And they kind of are. But an important difference is that uh, when we create a variable, that variable and the value associated with it gets stored in a frame, uh, either in the global frame or in a local frame if it's created inside of some uh, function. Whereas here, um, all of these attributes of our uh, of our class, uh, of our of our the instance of our class here, they get stored in the object itself. So it's over here. It's not in any frame. And that's why we're able to do this lookup, where we do the name of our uh, class variable dot and then the attribute. That way, Python knows to look up that variable name in that particular instance and not in some frame. Um, now, for setting and uh, setting these these uh, attributes, there's two main ways that they get set. One is this default, I say, class attribute. And these are the attributes that are set in the class definition, not in a constructor in a class function, but like out here. And rather than being one of these functions or class methods, uh, this attribute is just listed as one of the lines in the suite of lines that are part of this, this, uh, this class definition. And so this means that for each character that gets created, uh, this variable uh, or attribute, to be precise, birthplace is a class attribute that is the same for, by default, for each, uh, for each instance of this class, each object that's created. So this means that when you make a new character here, and we have Woody, fifteen, and seven, uh, the init function gets, uh, init method gets run when we create our character, and we set the health to one hundred, name to car name, strength and defense, they all get set. But then we can access this attribute birthplace by doing woody.birthplace. And even though we didn't do self.birthplace anywhere, because birthplace was defined out here as uh, one of the lines in our character class definition, we can access that attribute. It's a class attribute. Now I'll point out here, um, before I go on to this next, um, up. Oh, I'll point this out in a second. Let me, let me cover the other type of attribute first. So we have these class attributes that are kind of defaults. That we, the fact that it's specified here means this is just set for all of, our, all of our classes. And here this kind of makes sense because maybe the name of the world in our game is the kingdom of Asgardia. And so all of our characters, when they're created, are born in our game, which is the kingdom of Asgardia. The other kind are instance attributes, and these are set by assigning to the instance by using the variable that holds that uh, the instance or the object. Um, and that can either be done inside of our init uh, method or any other methods, as we'll see next lecture, using the self, because self is a variable that refers to this particular instance of our class. Or out here, not inside of our, our any of our methods in our class, just when we have a variable like Woody that's holding on to this character object, an instance of our object uh, of our of our class. We can do Woody dot favorite color, and this creates a new attribute favorite color uh, that we set to have a value of blue. And now this we can get this instance variable by doing Woody dot favorite color, and that gives us back blue. We can also refer to these instance uh, instance attributes that were set inside the init method. Doing woody dot, uh, dot health for example, and that prints 100. We can update values by doing woody dot health equals 90. So we can assign to uh, an attribute, and that'll print out. Now when we go and get this value back, it prints out 90. Uh, now I I will point out here. You just saw me doing something, uh, uh, assigning to an instance attribute. The cool thing is we can assign, here I'll just show you this over here. So you can actually assign to write over this uh, default kind of class attribute as well. And so for Woody in particular, let's say that we want to change Woody's birthplace to actually be Howard, since we're making this game here at Howard. Now if I do print Woody.birthplace, let's see what it will print. 
So as I run this here, um, and actually I'll just take this into Replit. So I have a nice IDE to work with. As I run this, first it prints Kingdom of Asgardia because that's the default value set in our class. But if for this particular instance, we want to set an instance uh, attribute birthplace to overwrite this default class attribute, we can absolutely do that. And so now it'll print Howard when we go to print woody.birthplace. Now here you've also noticed me getting back the values, getting these attributes, both class and instance uh, attributes. We reference them just by using this dot notation. Earlier in the class, I didn't try to talk about what was going on here, but you have seen this. Especially think about when we did strings, when we had something like um, name equals Howard. And we could do print name.upper. We could also do print name.lower, like that. Now, this dot notation was saying, OK, this is a class, uh, a, a method that's part of this name uh, object, so part of a string class. And so this dot notation is exactly how we access attributes and also methods within our class. So the object variable name dot the attribute that we're trying to access. I'll warn you here, be very careful because uh, if you try to access an attribute that doesn't exist, Python will crash. It'll throw an attribute error just like this. So remember, nowhere in our constructor where we're setting an age, right? If we go back and look at our constructor, we set health, we set name, we set strength, and we set defense. And we also have this birthplace class attribute that exists. And so if I try to access .age, well, Python will go and, and, and try to look up in our uh, instance over here of our object, it'll try to look up age and it won't find it. And so Python throws an error, an attribute error. So generally, you want to be careful and make sure that you're only referencing attributes that you're sure to, the, that, uh, to exist. Now that we're talking about instances of, of our class or objects, I'll point out this special keyword that we can use, which is an operator that lets us check if two variables refer to the same instance. Um, we'll call this object identity. And you can see here, so we create Woody, who's one character, one instance of the character class, so it's one object. Picky, which is a separate instance of the class. Um, and now if we use this is operator, Woody is picky prints false, because Woody is not the same instance as picky. Um, whereas if we do Woody is Woody, that prints true. And so this might seem silly to you. Obviously, Woody is Woody. Uh, but in cases where, for example, you have a list of different characters, and then you have a variable that, that points to a particular instance of a character, and you want to figure out which item in the list is equal, it is that same character, that's where this is really useful. Um, this is operator. And something implicit in what I just said is that uh, this means that our objects are actually passed by reference. And so that should kind of make sense. You, you can see these objects are mutable. We can always do the object dot and an attribute name on the left side of an assignment to assign a variable, uh, a value to that attribute within the class, uh, within the instance of the class, to be precise. And so because our classes are, our, our objects are mutable, um, they're also passed by reference whenever we call a function. Uh, I'll give a tricky example here, though, that you should know and recognize. What does this print? So we create Woody1, has the name Woody, strength 15 and 7. Woody2 has the name Woody, 15 and 7. So you would think that these are equal, that they're the same. Uh, but actually, Python will print false here. And that's because even though the actual values of each of the attributes are the same, and yes, if we looked in Python Tutor, these would have the same values, uh, like the objects would look the same. Name would be Woody, strength would be 15, defense would be 7, and health would be 100. The is operator checks that they're actually the same object. And if we look at this in Python Tutor, right here, 
we can see that first we create Woody1. You can see here Woody1 points to this instance of a character, so this object. When we go about creating Woody2, you can see that Woody2 is its own character instance. It's a whole new object. And so because these are different objects, even though they have the same uh, uh, attribute values, is will return false. Is checks if these are actually the same exact object. And we can see here that Woody1 points to one instance, and Woody2 points to a different instance.